these are the very first sprigs of turmeric that are coming up this year. Oh, you see that? That one is sprouting. Cover you back up. Like flower candy. Nose candy. Is that what they call drugs? Good morning, everybody. So, I did a live Q&A last week and I was getting a lot of questions about digestion and having good digestion and should I be food combining and how much water do I need to be drinking and does that really make a difference? So, I thought that today's what I eat in a day video could be a great theme of what I eat for great digestion. So one of my first and most important tips is to drink plenty of water. Most people grossly underestimate the amount of water their bodies need every day, including myself. So even I, for the last four or five days, I've been purposefully increasing my water intake. And to be perfectly honest, it's done great things for my digestion as well. Even though I thought I was hydrated enough, I thought, I mean, I'm still drinking, I was still drinking more than most people in the world, or I guess in the United States drink. But water intake is very important for good digestion because if your body is dehydrated, it won't be able to secrete enough gastric juices to digest your food properly. And your food will take much longer to go through the digestive tract because then in addition to trying to absorb nutrients, your digestive tract is going to be trying to absorb as much water as it can from that food. And as we've learned in like the acne and gut health video, what you absorb through your intestines matters and everything that is absorbed from your intestines goes straight to your liver to be detoxified. You know, there are a lot of waste products in your digestion and if those waste products are being absorbed with that water, it can end up being quite a burden for your liver. So we can just drink our water through our mouths instead of our colons <laughs> and save our liver a lot of trouble. So I drink that glass full of water as soon as I woke up and that was about 45 minutes ago that I woke up and now I'm having my 40 ounce hydro flask. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then I'm gonna go on a walk during which I might run from time to time a little bit. I'm not feeling like I wanna run, I'm feeling like I just wanna walk and listen to a good podcast, but we will see where the morning takes me. I'm prepared for whatever. I got my uh, super tight sports bra on so I can run if I want to. Just got home from the, well, God, I was gonna say run, but I walked for 90% of it. I just ran like the last 10 minutes and I had a lovely, lovely time. It's nice and sunshiny and Mauna Kea is out. I love that. And I just, I gotta say, exercise when you're well hydrated in addition to digestion is so much better. So much better. Okay, I gotta shower and get some breakfast because I am hungry. I am clean and very hungry. I'm gonna be having this beautiful mammy sapote. I will be adding it in with the frozen mango chunks. And then I have, what is this? Nine bananas. I've also been loving the combination of pumpkin seeds and golden flax seeds. I just got the golden ones because they didn't have any other at the store, so what the hey. But I've been loving this combination ground up. And I took my B12. Don't forget to take your B12. I also have my 40 ounce Hydro Flask. I drank the whole thing this morning plus a 20 ounce jar. Oh, so I'm up to 60 ounces already today. And then one, two, three three mineral drops in there. And I'm actually kind of thirsty, I guess probably from the run and my walk and just because it was hot outside and I was sweating. So I will probably actually have some more of this before I have breakfast.
few things in this world more beautiful than the inside of a mammy sapote. Well, I guess there are a lot of things that are equally as beautiful, but you get my point. Mm. It's like sweet potato pie. So I thought this morning meal might be a great time to talk a little bit more about digestion. And one question that I often get is about food combining. You know, first of all, what are the principles and should you even bother doing it? So I've seen a lot of different thought processes that go along with food combining, a lot of different ways to do it. When I was doing the 100% raw food thing and I was doing high fruit, high carb, um, I did do food combining and it was really important for me to do it at that point in my life. And I, I believe that that was for many reasons. First and foremost, it was because I was eating so much fruit. So when you're eating really large amounts, really large quantities of fruit, if you do poor combining or you start a process that encourages fermentation, you can end up having a horrendous time with that digestion. A lot of bloating, a lot of gas, a lot of pain and discomfort and feelings of nausea. So my rules for fruit was stuff like only eat melons by themselves. Don't include high fat foods with your fruit. Because remember that high fat foods do relax the um, esophageal sphincter, which makes it more likely to open and allow the contents of the stomach to come back up into the esophagus. Also important is you know, it's like big meals are nice, but not eating until you're absolutely sick to your stomach stuffed, okay? Make sure that you've had water beforehand. Again, like we were talking about this morning, the water helps your body to create digestive gastric juices and aids digestion. And then perhaps the most important was don't eat sweet fruits with acidic or subacidic fruits. And depending on how much fruit you're eating, you know, it's like people can get away with that to a certain extent, but like if I see someone eating oranges and bananas at the same time, if you're eating a bunch of it, it's not gonna feel good. Like bananas and kiwis, no. So you gotta stick with like like fruits with like fruits. So like in this meal, this is very sweet. It's not acidic at all. So I'm having it with bananas and a bit of ripe mango. All of those are really nice and sweet, or I think mangoes are like subacidic fruits. And so that'll create a really nice combination in my tummy. I know that there are many other principles to food combining as far as like, you know, what you eat with beans and grains and when, and I'm not super privy to those distinctions and I'm not necessarily sold on it like I don't think this is something that everybody has to do uh, I know that there are a lot of people that have really strong digestion people like Levi who can eat literally anything in any combination and they're fine 99% of the time for people like me I know I've always had slightly weaker digestion and I've always had issues with indigestion or constipation or gas, burping, like regurgitating my food, heartburn, that kind of stuff. So I know I have to be a little bit smarter with the way that I combine my food. And a lot of that, I believe, is because my past with a lot of restriction, getting myself into semi-starvation mode, and also the bulimia where I was eating a ton of food, really stressing my digestive system, and then making myself throw it back up, which is terrible for digestion. So if you're coming from a past that could be similar to mine, or you have a genetic predisposition that could be like mine, food combining and being mindful of what you eat and when could be something that's smart for you to do. I'm getting hungrier by the minute. Petunia, I would share this with you, but I know you'll just swallow it whole. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna share anyway. Here you go. <gasps> You did, you swallowed it totally whole. I'm gonna add a little bit of turmeric as well. There she blows. Mmm, lunch time, what do we have here? Got leftover salad filling up the bottom there. Got some avocado, just a little bit. A couple tablespoons probably. Uh, half of a big orange sweet potato and then I have two and a half purple sweet potatoes. And I think that this will fill me up pretty good. 
in addition to some green peas and edamame, which I still out of the pesto prep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And since we're talking about digestion today, I thought I would share a little bit of my personal experience and thought process when it comes to digestion on a whole plant food diet. So, as you guys know, my digestion was never great. It's a lot better than it used to be, but it's still not perfect by any means. And I found that even though, you know, plant-based doctors can give all kinds of recommendations or other YouTubers can give all kinds of recommendations, at some point, you just have to figure out which foods your body likes the best, which I guess translates into, you know, which foods you, the bacteria in your gut like the best. So my gut bacteria love legumes, sweet potatoes, fruits, and vegetables. Whole grains don't, don't work as well for me. So if I eat whole grains, I notice a big change in my digestion. That doesn't mean that I don't eat whole grains because they're still really healthy, delicious foods and I like having them as part of my diet, but I know what I'm gonna get. I would say that my digestion is best on a high fruit and high sweet potato diet. Like if I just ate those two foods, I feel like I would have amazing digestion, but that wouldn't provide me with all of the varied plant foods that I need to have a wisely planned, nutrient-dense, delicious diet that's gonna keep me vegan for the long term, right? So if you have more questions or want to explore it further, or if you're dealing with issues like um, bad breath or indigestion or bowel issues, then I would highly suggest picking up a copy of this book. I got this one used off of Amazon for like 42 cents, I think. So it's not a big investment, but it is a wealth of information. Dr. McDougall did a really great job with this book. The other thing that's really important, I think, is to stop stressing out about our digestion. You know, if you're eating a whole, predominantly whole plant food diet, if you're drinking enough water, if you're getting enough sleep, if you're avoiding alcohol for the most part, if you have like a relatively low sodium diet, then you don't need to be worrying all that much. I know that there are studies that, that show that um, digestion is really important and it's like, you know, the size of your poop is really important, the, the weight of it is important, and I suppose it is. You know, the consistency and the quality of it is important, but at the same point in time, do what you can and then try not to stress about it because that stress causes a lot of tightness and constriction, especially in the abdomen. And you know, all of your digestive system is surrounded in muscle. And if you're stressed, that definitely can translate to, to tenseness and spasms in those muscles, which can definitely affect your digestive transit time or the quality of your bathroom habits, that kind of stuff. So if you're striving for good digestion, it's not just about nutrition. It's, you have to take a holistic approach, especially if you're sensitive, like me. Hey, right? Hey, the family. Well, unfortunately, the same audio problem from the other video persisted until right now. So after I crack my back, we get started. This is dinner. It is gluten-free, vegan, potato-based gnocchi topped with a uh, really yummy vegan marinara and pesto pasta that is nut-free. You guys might remember the recipe from a few weeks ago. And if you want to see how we made this, you got to go over to the Sexy Tablespoon. All right, there it is. You know the deal, first person who likes it. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> one second! What the heck? You can't beat one second. That's no, crazy. Where'd it go? Can't. One second. I lost it. Right there. Beth Bug. We see you, girl. One second, dude. Yeah, I'm impressed. I don't know if I should be like happy and impressed or if she's stalking my boyfriend. She's not stalking you. <laughs> said, all of your food always looks insanely good. Both you and Lily inspire me greatly. Aww. Oh, look, and inspired by veggies. I like her account. Holy smoke, she got cakes? And cupcakes? 
and donuts Lashy. and salads. Put it bacon. Holy. Are those berries? Smokes. What is this? Can you come here and make it? That's making me pretty jealous though. Okay, I have this idea. I want to run it by you. Let me know what you think. I'm going to build an apartment complex. Okay? You're going to build it or should I build it? I'm going to build... You might have to help me. Okay. With the apartment complex. Okay. But I want to build it. And like every unit has a, a semi-decent kitchen, you know, nothing too special. But then there's a common area of the apartment complex. And in this common area is like a commercial kitchen. Like every chef's dream kind of kitchen. Right? Mm -hmm. And then I invite vegan Instagrammers to live in the apartment complex. Like just to come and visit? We'll see. Or to come and live. Maybe come and live. And maybe we could have like vegan Instagrammers in residence, you know, like artists in residence kind of thing. Nobody would come and live in our apartment. I think people would come to live in our apartment complex in Hawaii. Then we all, sh we all do like shifts of cooking dinner for everybody. So then like I would cook one night a week and I would make delicious food for you guys. And then, you know, someone else would cook one night a week. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And or, you know, it's like one person would be in charge and pick the recipe and then they would have like, you know, two people assigned to be their their underlings to help them with the prep and everything. Because when you're cooking for, you know, 20 people, it can be overwhelming. Should we buy a flash water? We should buy fucking spiders. Just fill the house with spiders. Look at this one. This one's trying to eat through the... Oh my god. What? Holy hurry up and eat so we can turn off the lights. We're being inundated. Come on, honey, hurry up. We gotta turn off the lights. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Let's just turn off the lights and turn up the ISO as high as it goes. Okay. Bye. We gotta turn this light off. I know, they really love it. They think it's like the entrance to Narnia. I don't think the ISO goes up high enough to remedy this. <gasps> oh dear. Should we just sit in the dark for the rest of the night? So how was your day? Um, not bad. It was kind of hot and then it rained for a little while and then it, the sun came out again so it was like steaming almost. It's kind of, I'm kind of miserable two weeks already. A lot of rain. It's kind of miserable. I could do without it. Mm -hmm. Let's wrap this shit up. See ya. So what did you do today? Um, just filmed a bunch. We've been talking about digestion pretty much the whole day. And like, changes to digestion when you go on a vegan diet or like troubleshooting digestive issues. Have you found your digestion to be? Since I went on a vegan diet? Mm -hmm. A little bit too frequent almost. <laughs> I mean, it's not a problem. I'd rather have it, you know, be too frequent than to have it sit and bacterialize. Putrefy? Yeah, in my digestive system. So, I don't know. That's what colon cancer is, right? It's, it's, it's food that's stuck in the intestines and bacteria builds up and it damages the cells, right? Yeah, they, they can create like carcinogens or there can be carcinogens present in the putrefying food and then that exposure to carcinogenic material of your yeah so kind of like so kind of like what i just said ready goodbye okay all right guys hold on let me let me finish this delicious pillowy herby garlicky gnocchi mm. Mm. I think we're gonna take off for the night so we can sit in the dark and avoid the termites swarming our house. Thank you guys for watching and for spending some time with me today. It was very appreciated. If you are enjoying these what I eat in a day videos, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Ding the little bell, tick the box so that you'll be notified when I upload questions, comments, and what you would like for me to talk about next time, you can post those down below in the comment section. Right? Good? We're good? Yep. I'll see you guys so. next week, yeah?
I'm entering a gnocchi coma. Oh, for real? Yeah. Dude, I'm not even done with my bowl, and I'm freaking, like, I'm done with I know. life right now. I was looking at this bowl, and I was like, it's too small. I'm disappointed. But now I'm like, for real? now I'm going through it, and there's still a lot left. I think I'm done. Okay. All right, you guys. Until next time, make better choices for yourself. Take really, really good care. I will see you all very soon. Bye. See you later. Bye. And since we're all about digestion today, I uh, lose my train of thought completely.